Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. Elon Musk is not wasting any time in sending SpaceX's Starship SN20 into orbit, following the first successful static fire test of the massive rocket. The highly anticipated orbital launch is in limbo, as the Federal Aviation Administration conducts an environmental assessment of the launch site. Elon Musk, the billionaire founder of SpaceX, said Friday the company's huge new Starship rocket could be ready for its orbital test launch from South Texas as soon as November. But the schedule comes with two big uncertainties that may push the launch to next year. The launch will be the first orbital flight for the Mars-bound craft, which is being built to transport people and cargo around the solar system. Previous Starship prototypes have performed high-altitude test flights from SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. But the next stage of development requires a massive super-heavy rocket in order to propel into orbit. The November test will see Starship SN20 launch from Starbase before separating from the booster rocket and touching down 90 minutes later off the coast of Hawaii. SpaceX will attempt to catch the super heavy rocket using robot chopsticks attached to the launch tower, named Mechazilla by Mr. Musk, that will guide it back down to the pad. The new schedule update from Musk came the day after SpaceX test-fired the newest Starship vehicle, known as Ship 20, or SN20, at the company's development facility near Boca Chica Beach, east of Brownsville, Texas. A vacuum-rated Raptor engine, similar to the engine Starship will use in space, ignited for several seconds on a launching stand at SpaceX's Starbase complex on Thursday night. SpaceX has been developing a Starship in southeastern Texas, the United States, and progress has been made on launching tower construction and installation of the vacuum-rated Raptor engines. The vacuum-rated Raptor engines would help the vehicle in reaching space, reported TechCrunch. Taking to Twitter, Elon Musk shared a picture of SpaceX's Starship rocket, which is under development in Texas. The Space Padre Isle on Twitter shared four pictures of the Starbase and mentioned that the development of the Starbase launch tower was nearly complete. Replying to the post, Elon Musk said if all goes well, Starship will be ready for its first orbital launch attempt next month, pending regulatory approval. SpaceX installed a Raptor vacuum engine, essentially a version of the engine that is optimized for use in space, and fired it up for the first time while connected to a Starship rocket. The rocket at the company's facility in southern Texas was held down during the test in a process known as a static fire. The engine fired for just a few seconds. Later the same evening, SpaceX performed a second short static fire test. This time, it used two engines, a standard or sea level optimized Raptor engine and the vacuum engine. Musk, in a series of tweets, explained that SpaceX continues to work on improving its Raptor engines. He said that Raptor is currently at 270 bar, but working on upgrades to get it over 300 bar. Musk referenced the amount of chamber pressure within the engine, which effectively measures its performance. Starship is a massive next-generation rocket SpaceX is developing to launch cargo and people on missions to the Moon and Mars. The company is testing prototypes at the facility in southern Texas and has flown multiple short test flights. SpaceX wants Starship to be fully reusable, with both the rocket and its booster capable of landing after a launch to be recovered for future flights. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets are partially reusable. The company can regularly land and relaunch the boosters, but not the upper portion or stage of the rocket. Earlier this week, Musk emphasized that full and rapid reusability is the holy grail of orbital rocketry. He was responding to a report that small rocket builder Rocket Lab is making advancements in recovering and reusing its electron vehicles. SpaceX's next major step in testing Starship is launching into orbit. First, the company needs a launch license from the FAA for the mission. SpaceX has to take the required approvals as it has done for all of its previous Starship test flights from its development located outside of Brownsville, Texas. For the FAA approval, SpaceX must show that it has taken all necessary safety precautions to ensure that there is a minimum risk involved in case of anything going wrong during the launch attempts. The FAA is performing an environmental assessment of SpaceX's facilities and operations in Boca Chica. 
Earlier this week, it held two public virtual hearings for members of the public to give feedback on the process. SpaceX has rapidly expanded its facility, which it calls Starbase, since development work on Starship began in earnest in early 2019. The public hearings featured a wide dichotomy of testimonials, with 120 speakers in total. Commenters include those expressing wholehearted support of Musk and the Starship project, with many calling in from out of state. Criticism came from representatives of local environmental groups. Less than half of the commenters stated that they lived locally near Starbase's facilities. The final comment of the first hearing came from a Brownsville City Commissioner, Jessica Tetrol, who said she had been working with SpaceX for the last 10 years and noted the company employs more than 2,000 people in the region. I don't just ask you, I beg you to give them that permit. There are so many people here in Brownsville area who have benefited from the project coming to the area. The FAA is at step 4 of 8 in its review. It will evaluate public comments on its draft assessment, incorporate the feedback into its assessment and publish the final assessment. The FAA will then decide whether to issue a finding of no significant impact or give notice that it will begin a more in-depth review, known as an environmental impact statement. The latter would put any further Starship launches on hold until the review is complete. SpaceX's Starship proposal to the FAA includes up to 20 suborbital launches per year and up to 5 orbital launches per year. Morgan Stanley, after CNBC reported SpaceX, has reached a $100 billion valuation, found in a survey of institutional investors and industry experts that Musk's space company is expected to become even more valuable than Tesla. Musk's automaker currently commands a market value more than eight times higher than SpaceX's valuation. Investors are beginning to appreciate the potentially wide-ranging use cases for SpaceX's reusable launch architecture across communications, transport, Earth observation, and other space-related domains. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas wrote in a note on Tuesday. SpaceX shared a video on Sunday showing the latest progress of its Starship craft, titled Gateway to Mars. It included clips of the main Starship craft being attached to the Super Heavy booster rocket, measuring 120 meters when connected together. The two rocket stages are capable of delivering roughly 100,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit, according to SpaceX's calculations, while producing around 70 meganewtons of thrust off the pad approximately double that of the famous Saturn V rockets used to launch humans to the moon during NASA's Apollo missions. SpaceX signed a multi-billion dollar deal with NASA earlier this year to build Starship rockets for the US Space Agency's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon in 2024. Eventually, the craft could carry up to 100 people on missions to Mars and beyond, with SpaceX planning to build up to 100 new Starship rockets every year. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congratulations on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until next time.